Hello world. Sun to soul here. Ready to shine some light. It's a beautiful day. I'm loving this day right now. I wasn't able to look at the sun, but because it was cloudy this morning, but that's okay. You gotta be lenient with yourself, so that's what I learned. That's a cool lesson I learned about my journey. It's patience. But um anyways. I was basically talking about this for, um, just talking about my, my benefits, my personal benefits of what I experienced during sun gazing, you know, because everybody's different, and that's great, you know, so I'm just ready to share mine. So, um, it's been about a month now since I recorded, and I was at 11 minutes, 11 some change, and right now, I'm at 15 minutes, and, um, it's been a drastic change, like a lot, a lot, even the process, even the process of just looking at the sun, you know, things are happening, so I basically just want to talk about my benefits so far. So, um, number one is my vision. That is definitely number one. <laughs> my vision is literally changing, literally changing. This is, this is no joke. This is no joke. <laughs> it's literally changing. I can't. Oh man, duh. Like you know when you take off one contact and then you can see the contrast between the one you have on and the one you don't? Like it's getting so much closer where I could I could almost see with my contact and it's 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 kinda weird a little bit because I'm like, wait, I just took off my contact and I'm like, you know, I got it in my finger and stuff I'm like. So that's that's a definite, you know? And um it could also pertain to um, certain habits that I have now. Like I gained new habits in learning my eyes because when I started sun gazing, I really started learning about my eyes, you know, like literally learning about it. It's crazy because, you know, all this time, you know, I had this problem, you know, I, I, I was interested. You know, I was definitely interested in what, what happens to it, but it wasn't to a point where I was really attentive to it. You know, so I gained new habits where I stopped squinting. You know, growing up, I used to squint a lot because I felt like anytime I, I squinched my eyes, my vision would like jump a little further and I, I could catch the letters in a blackboard, you know. And now it's like I don't squint no more. I just keep my eyes open and I just, I kind of focus. I just kind of just give a steady scare, steady stare and basically it would just it would just come into focus kind of like like some binoculars you know and I think that's real cool that that is one of the coolest things so far you know that's a big difference for me because it's just there's <laughs> no words for that but anyways that's just number one you know um number two is more energy more energy could sound crazy I don't know plants get energy all the time right <laughs> I get more energy looking at the Sun when I wake up and I look at the Sun it sets the bar for my whole day I could be tired waking up and I look at the Sun and I'm just up kind of like like coffee <laughs> it's like my own little coffee I never like coffee anyway so that's good on my part, right? So, um, and I remember too, there was one time, well in the summer, you know, I used to work at an overnight in a clothing store. And when I quit that summer, I basically had a, had a jumbled up schedule of when I was sleeping. My biological clock was all over the place. I would sleep in the middle of the day. You know, I will sleep anytime and I'd just be tired and stuff. So. I remember it was just one time, I could have been five minutes in, and, you know, I don't know, I guess I was still, um, I was still adjusting, so I ended up staying up all night. I ended up staying up all night, and I looked at the time, and it was, it was like six and some change, it was like 6 a.m., I'm like, uh, let me stay up. It's like, let me stay up, so I decided to stay up, so I wanted to look at the sun, and the moment I did, you know, I was like, okay, let me just go to sleep now, you know, I broke night, so 
it's definitely tired and stuff. So I lay down and I'm just laying. And I'm just. up <laughs> I'm just up I'm like okay so let me just start my day <laughs> so that's one thing too whether you like it or not you get energy from the Sun <laughs> um and another one is my third eye now this was pretty cool because about a about a year and a half ago I started learning about chakras and stuff a good friend of mine in my old in my old office he um he pulled out the chakra book in front of me, I'm like, what is this? And he explained a little bit and stuff. He just he just dabbed there, but from then on, I started becoming fascinated with it. So I started meditating and stuff. And um this was an interesting experience because it pertained to my third eye. When I started opening my third eye, I started noticing little sensations in my forehead and after sun gazing is it's it's broader. Like I really feel like my third eye. Even when I meditate when I get images, these images I, I see they they're so vivid now. They're extremely vivid. So I think that's pretty dope. I think that's pretty cool. So um it could also pertain to you know my diet. I have a new diet now, you know. I'm trying to go vegan, I'm vegetarian right now, and I gave up on I gave up meat in the summertime. So in August, so basically, um, it could pertain to my diet where you know I don't use fluoride no more. You know, I use fluoride-free toothpaste, and um, but um, yeah, um, basically, uh, a lot of a lot of pictures, a lot of images I, I noticed without without my eyeballs, you know, and um, I think that's pretty cool. A lot of third eye business going on, just looking at the sun, um. And oh yeah, one more thing too. When I first started, you know, a couple minutes in in my journey, I would um. It's kind of funny because because you know I live pretty high up, and you know I get the view from here. I'll get the view from the sun over here, and I would I would look at the sun and I would cut my eyes. And I'll sit down and I'll move away from it. But what happens is I get a um the image of the, the window frame in my eyes and it's it's almost like a snapshot. Like a like a literally like a, a picture of my of my window frame with the sun right there <laughs> shining through the window and it will be almost like infrared vision. It's like infrared, right? And the colors will kind of melt down. It will go from like, it will go from like reddish to like purple. And then like I see like the light kind of just withering away. And then I would see like the whole the whole window frame disappear. And then the sun, it will still be in my view. This is my eyes closed too. This is my eyes closed. So I'm just sitting there and like. I'm seeing this image and I see the sun and from from my from my peripheral because I noticed that when I move my eyes around while they're closed the image um shoots around so I keep still and I would notice the sun descending and then like right under it like right under it it was kind of like a um kind of like when like a meteorite going through the atmosphere and then you you see you see the, the the pressure that is going through. You see the air that is that is breaking through. I see that kind of like a meteorite, and it's just descending. And it will descend out of my peripheral view. I don't know what to say about that. I think that's pretty cool though. But um, that's one of the experiences. And I noticed with the color, the color of the sun when I cuff my eyes changes as well. First it was red. And then it turned orange, and then it was pure white. And now it's green, like emerald green. And I'm like, what is this? Cause it's so funny too. I ended up looking up, looking it up, and 
I heard something about the um the green flash where when the sun sets if you if you get it time right and the conditions are right you might see the sun kind of emanate and an emerald kind of kind of light and that was exactly I looked at the picture of it and that was exactly what I saw <laughs> that was cool that was extremely cool I like that but um yeah that's that's with the images and stuff and uh the last but not least is I feel great <laughs>